Light is an electromagnetic wave. What does that mean? Everywhere in space there's an electric field and a magnetic field, and they oscillate perpendicular to each other to produce light. Here is one row of points in space. There are many other points in space outside of this row, but we'll focus just on this row. Standing in the way is a polarizing filter. If I send vertically polarized light through, it passes right on to the other side. The reason is because this filter has a vertical transmission axis, so any vertically polarized light gets through. What if we take this and we make it a horizontally polarizing filter? Now the filter only lets through horizontal oscillations in the electric field. So this vertically polarized light does not pass. Where does it go? It's absorbed by the molecules and they start vibrating up and down as a result. So that energy in the light is transferred into heat of the filter. It, or rather, the better way to say it though would be it's transferred to internal energy of this polarizing filter. So what if you take this filter and you make the transmission axis at an angle? What happens? What gets through? To see this, we are going to consider all of these oscillations and project them on like a projector screen so that we have a single arrow showing the amplitude. The E here is electric field, not energy. We'll always work with the angle between the polarization plane and the transmission axis. If we view this from head on, then we've got the amplitude shown here. Remember that this tells us what light gets through. It's an axis. So any oscillations that are parallel to the axis will pass through the filter. And if any of the oscillation is perpendicular to the transmission axis, those oscillations will not get through. So I've taken this electric field vector and I've broken it into components, one of which is parallel to the transmission axis and the other of which is perpendicular to the transmission axis. The parallel component of these oscillations pass through. The perpendicular component of the oscillations do not pass through. Green means go, red means stop. We can take this picture and we can rotate the entire thing and we still have the same fact. This green component is what passes through. Let's draw these borders so that they look more like a horizontally oriented filter. So what is this green thing? It's the cosine component. It's the adjacent component. If you consider a point in space, on the other side of the filter, then now this point in space has these oscillations. Let's watch. That's what the electric field does. And so the new amplitude is E max times the cosine of this angle. And again, the reason we multiply by cosine is because this is the component parallel to the transmission axis. Intensity, we know, is proportional to amplitude squared. So if you multiply the amplitude, E max, by cosine, the intensity will be multiplied by cosine squared. Malice's law states exactly that. The new intensity equals the original, or the old intensity, times the cosine squared of the angle. And again, the angle is the angle between the transmission axis of the filter, the black line, and the polarization plane of the incident light. If we divide both sides by the initial intensity, we can express this as a fraction, which tells us what percentage of the intensity is transmitted through the filter. Relative to the old amount, what percentage or fraction gets through? So if you take a filter that is rotated at 45 degrees to vertical, 
and you send vertically polarized light through, the angle between the transmission axis here and the polarization plane here is 45 degrees. It doesn't matter if this is horizontally polarized light on a 45 degree uh, transmission axis, or it could be a vertical transmission axis, and the polarization plane could be at 45 degrees. Or it could be a horizontal transmission axis, and here again, 45 degrees. In all four cases, the angle between the red oscillations and the black transmission axis is 45 degrees. And so the intensity transmitted will be cosine squared of 45. Cosine of 45 is 1 over radical 2, and when you square it, you get 1 half.